Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Decoupaging with Michelle. Remember if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. Um, I have a couple jars that I, I need to decoupage. I have a uh, couple shows coming up over the course of the next uh, six weeks. So as I, uh, my jars are already prepared, so I thought I would just uh, do a short video and uh, do three or four jars here for you. So um, these, are, these are very cool, uh, very odd kind of shaped jars. As I probably mentioned many times in some of my other videos, I like to use upcycled jars. And so today is no exception. This is, has to be the coolest jar. Check this out, you guys. Um, I think I got it at like a resale shop. It was probably 10 cents or something, but I thought the shape was really, really cool. And uh, I'm gonna actually put this on it. Oh, I found this, I found this really beautiful um, Dahlia napkin. I'll show you what that napkin looked like before I I chapped it all up. Actually, I'm going to do, I'm using a couple of flowers. So this was the napkin, the side of, no, this was the side of the napkin. There are two uh, small da yellow dahlias I'm, I'm going to do in a smaller jar here. Um, I, I can't remember where I got these napkins, but I absolutely love this. My, sis my sister actually has a dahlia farm. She, she uh, grows dahlias. And so I may actually may actually end up giving her this so she can put some fresh dice in it so um, you know what I'm gonna do is I, I use my Mod Podge um, this is the gloss sometimes I use the matte I happen to be out of the matte right now so I'm gonna use the gloss and um, we'll get going here so the the key to good decoupaging when you put your Mod Podge on is not to put too much on um, put too much on your napkins are a bubble and a wrinkle and a rip so I just have a little bit of Mod Podge on my my brush and I go and I use the plaid Mod Podge brush I think I got these uh, either from Michaels or I might have even got them from Amazon but I think I got I think I, I got them from Michaels so I just put a I just uh, make that make my Mod Podge a little tacky oh you know what I'm missing I'm missing one thing you guys I wonder what's wrong with this. I have to put my, my rice down so I hold everything in place. All right. All right. So because I kind of let that dry, I'm going to just kind of reapply this real fast and make that tacky again. And uh, let me make sure that you can ask and see everything here. And I'm going to put that down. I think that looks pretty good. And go up. Sometimes these curves um, on some of these jars and bottles can be challenging. Um, so you just gotta kind of finagle them around a little bit. I think that that turned out really good. And of course, I'm gonna flip it here. Put a little more Mod Podge on my brush. And uh, put this on here. Again, not a lot of Mod Podge on here, guys. Just enough to make it tacky. Look at that. Looks pretty good. So then uh, I always get a little bit of my plastic wrap here. And I got this giant piece of plastic wrap, but I'm not sure. I think I was fighting with the with the saran wrap again or the plastic wrap. Um, but you just put that on there just so you can kind of rub those edges if there are any creases. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. Gently pull that up. And that one's done. That looks really, really good, you guys. I really like how that turned out. Um, so that's one. And then I said when I when I had cut the uh, the the um, napkin out, they had some yellow dahlias, and so these are the yellow dahlias. They weren't full, but I'm gonna put them together and do a kind of a cool design here. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this. So this again, upcycle jar. I think this was uh, my bullion jar. Um, these make really great pencil pencil holders. Um, they're kind of short and stocky, so if you have it on your desk. Um, so again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge on here. Probably should have, I try to... I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one like this. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out just yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Get all the wrinkles out of there. I actually think I'm gonna kind of overlay it like it's a kind of a bouquet and I'm gonna line this up at the bottom here. 
Yeah, what do you think about this? Put a little bit of Mod Podge back here. Put a little bit more of my brush here. I'll put a little Mod more Mod Podge than I would like to use. Look at how cute that is, you guys. I think that turned out really, really cute. Again, I want to get my plastic wrap put over this. And uh, I'm just going to gently rub the edges, make sure there's no creases. And I'll gently, gently pull it out of that. Okay, that turned out really cute, actually. Get like a, like a burnt orange or a burnt yellow kind of uh, ribbon to go around the top. That would look really great on there. So there's that one, you guys. So I just have a couple. I'm doing a, one of the shows I'm doing in the next couple weeks is a it's a fundraiser for our local one of our local cat shelters so i'm going to make some cat jars so uh, again another upcycled jar a jar um this was a spaghetti jar that I, I recently bought and i just love the shape perfectly round pretty thick as well so i think i'm going to do this black cat right on there i thought he would just look perfect on there. look at that isn't that great so for this one i'm actually going to do it sideways here. Let me get that in there. Get my napkin in place. Let me make sure I get him centered here. That's pretty good. My patch on my finger. I'm gonna hold that napkin in place. And I'm actually gonna go this way. Uh, just a little easier. Make sure it's on. Gets on there straight. And just a little bit of Mod Podge here. And um, I love doing uh, some of the shows where they have the, they're doing fundraisers for local, um, local charities. It's always one of my favorite things to do. So um, I'm an animal lover. So generally if they have a, a, a cat or a dog fundraising, um, I always like to kind of participate in those shows. And a portion of the vendor fee, the, the, the fee that we pay to go, goes toward it. And then generally you donate some items that will get auctioned off. So this may be one of the auctioning off items if this is what I donate. So I just think sometimes we just have to, uh, when we're fortunate, um, we have to be able to give back as well. So it's kind of one of the things I like to do um, while I'm kind of doing this craft and this self-care craft that I do. So I think... Kim's is so cute. Look at that. I get the saran wrap on here. I'm going to make sure I get some of these outlier that tail. Make sure he's on there nice and good. Alrighty. Look at that, you guys. Oh, Hims is so cute. So that's one of the cats. I think there are two more cats that I'm going to do. Um, let's see if I can find it. So this is this one is uh, not an upcycled jar. Um, I think I I went to an estate sale this summer and they had a bunch of canning jars. I can, but I don't. I, I bought I bought like 200 uh, canning jars, so I don't need quite that many. So some of these uh, these ones are not upcycled, but they're definitely reused and not new. So it's just a, a normal ball mason quart jar. Um, and I'm gonna put this little this little cat on there. Oh, cat looking at the bird. I'm going to, I was thinking about this, I think I'm going to more center the cats and have the bird be on the side. Because if I have the bird there, then the cat's on the side. So I think I'm going to do that. So you see the cats, and then when you turn it sideways, you can see that they're staring at a cute little birdie. So I think that works. Make sure that, I want to make sure that the cats are straight on here. I think that looks pretty good. So again... Mod Podge, not a whole lot. I'm a, a little bit heavier on the Mod Podge on this brush because it's a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big picture here. My dog just walked in the room. I'm not sure what he wants. So if you hear some random claws, it's just him walking. I have a, um, I have a Great Pyrenees dog. He's a half a key, a half, part Great Pyrenees and part Akita. 
So he does not play. Um, he's a great dog though. He's he's getting to be an old boy. He's uh, eight. He's going to be nine in October. So he's slowing down a little bit. But I love my time with my dog. He is fantastic. I also have two cats. Um, I got the cats. The cats are actually a little older. They're nine. Uh, they were nine in the spring. So again, I have some, my cats are getting old too, getting up there. But I had them uh, since they were four weeks old. There are rescues that are found, so they adopted them out really early. So they're my buddies. With my two cats and a one dog, and they all get along. All of us sleep in the same bed at night. It's fantastic. So there's the cat, you guys. And I'm going to go around and really... I know it's down here. I had some a crease. I'm going to rub those creases out. This is a really... Uh, using the saran wrap gets any of the creases that might be in there or wrinkles. Um, sometimes on these larger napkins, uh, it's, it's really hard to avoid having any creases. But you can uh, certainly, I call it buffing it out. You can buff it out a little bit. So I think that turned out, I think that turned out pretty cool actually. Pretty happy with that one. So, so there's the second set of kitty, kitty um, jars. And I've got one more, and this I have to say is probably my favorite. So again, this is just a quart uh, size mason jar. I think I got this at that state sale. Uh, this is a Golden Harvest mason jar. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, even though it's a quart. It has a little bit different shape, and I wanted that shape for this. Look at these cats, you guys. Oh, those blue eyes. Look at that. So I usually have to try to find the biggest jar I can find with them because it's uh, I want to make sure all their all their pretty eyes are on there. So I want to make sure their faces are centered. I think that looks pretty good, you guys. I'm gonna pull this down just a scotch. Alrighty, let's go for it. This is a little challenging one because it's on the. This has a really weird curve on it on the jar. Um, so. Oh, to get, make sure that lays down nicely. So again, just putting my Mod Podge on here, not putting a large amount. There's no puddles, it's just kind of very tacky. But I want to make sure I get the whole size of the jar, because this is going to go all the way down to the bottom here. Flip that over. Go up. I'm not going to go all the way up on this one just yet, because I need to... I want to make sure this all gets pretty straight here. Because I want to make sure his his ears and his eyes are straight. And he went all the way to the very top. Look at that. Touching the rim of the jar. That looks pretty good. I'm going to flip this baby over and finish this up. i got to make a mess on my Mod Podge here, you guys. So I'm super... Um, Excited to do a show. It's been a while since I've done shows. I have only done like I think three this year. Um, just my my day my day work schedule, day job schedule. It's just been crazy hectic. Uh, I'm a I'm a psychotherapist. If you've watched some of my videos, you know that. Um, and so, just a real need right now for people needing help and trying to get better. So. You guys look at that, isn't that cute? And I did, uh, when this process, uh, some of that paint came off. So when this Mod Podge dries, I'll go in and I will touch that white up. And again, I'm just going to go in here with my finger, rub some of these um, uh, creases out. I see there's some right there. I think that's pretty good, though. So I'm going to gently pull this back. That may take more of that paint off. It sure did. But that's okay. The great thing about uh, paint, the white paint, the, the um, chalk paint is once everything dries, you can just touch everything up. So look at that, you guys. Is that not adorable? Those eyes just amaze me. They just stick out for real. So I've made that jar a couple times for um, in the past. 
and it seems to uh, sell out pretty quickly. Um, so that will work. Um, so I think that's all the jars we're going to do for now, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these five jars. Again, just a recap. Did this, the small upcycled dahlia. This is going to look cute with some, some fresh flowers in there. That'd be cute. And then um, the little upcycled jar with uh, smaller dahlias. And then another upcycled jar with the black cat. That's really cool. And then these two quart jars. The two kittens looking at the bird on the side and then of course this last one i just did which are the three cats that just have these adorable little faces so thank you for watching you guys i hope that you enjoy what you've watched uh, if you enjoy it please hit the subscribe button uh, and and follow me uh, we're coming up to the holiday season for fall and winter so i have some really um great projects that i'm working on that uh, stay tuned so you can catch them out. All right, you guys, take care. Remember, hit and subscribe.